kamig. Okay naman. Diba may belt ka dito ah? Oo oh, naman, o oh, diba? Iba na. Dapat dito mas maganda uso. <laughs> Dapat ginawa mo yun. <laughs> Mabuhay, Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, Mega Manila at World. Ngayon po ay araw ng Webes, ikadalamput siyam ng Mayo, taong 2014. Simula na po ng pagbabago. Simula ng pagtaha sa tweed na landas. At samahan niyo po kami sa susunod na isang oras dito po sa inyong alternatibong newscast sa hapon. Ako po si Snow Badoa. Siyempre sa amin kayo ang nasusunod sa mga balita. Dito tayo sa Janio, ating yung unang binubuklat. Ako naman po, si Meg Siyoson. Namiss ko yung old set natin. Mas gusto ko yung bago. Hindi, <laughs> yung nakaraan. May eko eh, para oh. sa bahay. Ito po ang... Inyong paboritong PTV Sports. Sa ulo ng ating mga nagbabagang sports patapalita. Pinoy challenger Nonito Donaire Jr. Nangako ng eksplosibong performance sa Tattle Flash kontra WBA featherweight champion Simpewe Fetieka ng South Africa. Championship match ng Philippine Asco sa Palestine sa AFC Challenge Cup. Inaasahang magiging physical. Southeast Asian Footballer of the Week honors. Inangkit ni Philippine Asco's winger Patrick Reichel. Indiana Pacers. Bumirit ng Game 6 sa Eastern Conference Championship Series kontra two-time defending NBA champion Miami Heat. At women's singles title ng French Tennis Open. Umulagpos na sa mga kamay ni defending champion Serena Williams. Yan po ay mga headlines pa lamang. Detalye ng mga nag-uumusok na sports balita na rito na. Pwede natin tinig din ng live sa DCSR Sports Radio 918 sa snowbadwa.com at napapanood worldwide via internet streaming sa www.ptv.ph Tatlong W lang po yan ha? Sa boxing, wala po nakikita ang dahilan ng kampo ni Nito Donaire Jr. para hindi nila maagaw ang WBA featherweight belt mula kay South African champion Simpewe Fetieka. Sa katunayan, nangako ng eksplosibong performance ang tinaguri ang The Filipino Flash sa kanyang title challenge sa Macau, China sa Sabado. Ang kabuang detalye, iahatid ni Dennis Principe. Injury sa balikan, paa at kakulangan ng oras sa training. Ilan lamang ito sa mga naging eksplanasyon ni Filipino Flash na Nito Donare Jr. sa tuwing mapupuna ang pagkakaroon ng hindi magandang performance. Ngunit sa pagkakataong ito, tiniyak ng kanyang ama ng Sinonito Sr. na kanilang nagawa ang dapat gawin sa ensayo upang lumabas ang inaasaan nilang performance sa kanilang susunod na laban. Hahamunin ni Donaire si WBA featherweight champion Simpiwe Vetieka ng South Africa ngayong Sabado sa Macau. Target ni Donaire na may bulsa ang kilamang division title matamos ang kanyang pagkahari. Weight, super flyweight, bantamweight at super bantamweight divisions. Ayon naman kay Nonito Jr., wala sa kanyang isipan ang pantayan o dumikit man lang sa naging achievement ni Manny Pacquiao na sumungkit ng walong division titles. Uh, I don't know. I, I think that, you know, depends depend if uh, how I am, uh, how I fare in here. But, you know, eventually I think that my body will grow still you know, uh, and, and um, it'll be harder to cut down the weight as well. So, um, we'll probably right, keep reaching as high as we can. Gaganampin ang 12-round bout sa pagitan ni Nadonaire at Veteca sa Kotay Arena ng Venetian Hotel ngayong Sabado sa Macau. Para sa PTV Sports, Dennis Principe, Telebisyon ng Bayan. Sa football, tiyak na mapupuno ng aksyon at magiging physical ang championship match ng Philippine Ascals at Palestine sa AFC Challenge Cup. Ito ang pagtataya ng ilang football observers ng bansa, isang araw bago ang showdown ng dalawang championship rivals. May report si Sports Radio Senior Correspondent Cecil Kimla. Bagamat di hamak na mas mataas ang ranking ng Philippine Ascals kontra Palestine, hindi pa rin nakakasiguro sa labi ng eksperto. Ayon kay former UP Maroons coach Bob Salvacion, mataas ang level ng laro ng mga Palestino kaya tiyak na mapapalaban ang husto ang mga Pinoy Brewers. Pero naniniwala si Salvacion na kayang in-neutralize ng speed ng Philippine 11 ng anumang armas na isasalubong ng kalaban. Uh, well, siguro, I think you have to continue physically. I think we're also big. So, siguro, ang alamang natin yan, may momentum tayo. Di ba? Mataas yung moral natin. Experience-wise, most of our players are very experienced outside the 
na outside our country. Most of them are based outside the country, di ba? Uh-huh. So, yan ang ating mga, siguro, uh, tawag ito, advantage over them. The momentum is with us, no? And then, uh, yung moral na sa atin. Oh, but the physicality, I think, pwede natin di content yun. Samantala, pinayuhan naman ni injured winger Misa Agbahadura ng kanyang mga teammates na maghanda ng husto dahil tiyak na magiging physical umano ang match-up kontra Palestine. Palestine is a tough team, you know, understand? Because we draw against Afghanistan and then uh, and then they beat Afghanistan like 2-0. Hello? But the Philippines has a big chance to teams like they are not that fast as like Maldives or Vietnam, you know, when, because when I was playing against Azerbaijan, these teams physically, but uh, uh, we had the like advantage of our speed. So we'll see. Ang AFC Challenge Cup Championship match ng Philippine Ascals at Palestine ay itinakda bukas ng gabi. Para sa PTB Sports, Cecil Kimlat, Sports Radio 918. Samantala ay nangkin naman po ni Philippine Ascals winger Patrick Reichelt, ang Southeast Asian Footballer of the Week Honors. Ito po ay sabisa ng kanyang impresibong performance sa itinanghal at itinatanghal na AFC Challenge Cup sa Maldives. Unang umiscore ng dalawang goals ang 25-year-old Phil German sa panalo ng Ascals kontra Lao at Turkmenistan sa group prelim- preliminaries bago siya nag-issue ng assist kay Chris Greatwich sa 3-2 win kontra host Maldives sa semifinals. Bukas po ay makakatapat naman ang Philippine 11 ng Palestine sa finals at dito po ay nakataya ang isang slot para sa prestigyosong AFC Asian Cup sa Australia na magaganap sa susunod na taon. Professional Basketball Huwag isa kayang debut game sa Philippine Basketball Association o PBA. Si Import Rodney Carney. Ito ay kahit pa hindi gaan ng impresibo ang kanyang performance. Suot ang token text shop ang texter's jersey. Para sa detalye, nagbabalik si Dennis Principe. Kulang man sa kondisyon ng kanilang bagong import ay hindi pa rin kinapos ang talk and text sa players upang ibulsa ang isa na namang dikit na panalo. Sa isang out-of-town game, nagtala ang texters ng 8381 victory laban sa rain or shine nila sa painters miyerkulos ng gabi sa Alonte Sports Complex sa Binyan, Laguna. Lamang 83-76, hindi na umiscore ang talk and text sa huling dalawang minuto at pitong segundo ng laro. Ngunit naging sapat naman ang nasabing kalamangan upang magwagi ang tropa ni Coach Norman Black. Kinapos ang rain or shine nang sumablay ang potential game-winning 3-point attempt ni guard Paul Lee. 13 points lamang ang naiambag ng bagong texters import Rodney Carney na pumalit kay Othaius Jeffers dahil sa contractual dispute ito sa Minnesota Timberwolves. So, tingin ko ano eh, so, na lang din kami na lang ano kami sa rain or shine eh, kasi uh, hindi pa nakakapag-practice yung import namin, kararating lang yan ang uh, hindi nga araw na yun. Tapos ang dami niya pang inasikaso sa mga license niya, sa mga kung ano. Ah, uh, bisperetso na siya sa laro. So, nag-alaro nga yung ipot namin ng parang inaantok na, na parang wala sa wish eh. Kaya kahit pangit yung pagkapanalo namin, uh, talagang katanggapin na namin yun. Dahil sa panalo, ay umangat sa third place ang texters katabla ang Alaska, Air 21 at San Miguel Super Coffee na pare-pareho may 2-1 win-loss record. Samantala sa first game, nailista ng San Miguel bilang ikutlong sunod na panalo ng manaigit o kontra Barako Bull via 115-112 tally. Solo ang second spot ngayon ng Pilmen sa kanilang 3-1 record o half a game lamang ang layo solo leader Barangay Itema. Para sa PTV Sports, Dennis Principe, Tebisyon ng Bayan. Samantala, sa free throw shooting. Ito po ang gustong masolusyonan na ni Air 21 Express Center Asita Olaba isang araw bago ang matchup kontra Alaska Aces. May report si Ms. Crisha Cruz ng Bicol University. Nangako si Air 21 Express Veteran Center Asitaw Laba na babawi sa mga susunod laro. Ito ay kasunod ng kanyang malam yung free throw shooting sa laban kontra Barangay Hinebra San Miguel noong isang gabi, kung saan tatlo lamang na-convert niya sa labing isang attempts. 3 for 11 from the free throw line. 
and then three for 11 from the field. Uh, not a good night for the Rock. So I gotta, gotta bounce back. Sa nakalipas na dalawang araw ay sumalang sa apat na oras na shooting drill si Taulaba upang mas mahasa ang kanyang outside shots. Sa katunayan, sarili ang sinisi ng 6'9 Phil Tongan Slatman sa kabiguan ng Express na mapantili ang flawless campaign sa PBA Governor's Cup. Yeah, I apologize to the team. You know, I, uh, I told boss, I told coach, I told my teammates, you know, I took full responsibility for the loss. You know, these guys worked their butts off. You know, even though I struggled, they were still in the game. And just imagine if I was my usual self, it would be a whole different ball game. So, you know... You know, this is a learning experience. Uh, that's what I use it for, you know, preparing for Friday's game. Ang susunod na asignatura ng Air 21 ay kontra Alaska Aces. At ang kanilang enkwentro ay mangyayari sa Araneta Coliseum bukas ng gabi. Para sa PTV Sports, Trisha Cruz, Bicol University. Sa PBA pa rin. Dahil nakatutok ang atensyon sa pagbuo ng matibay-tibay na team para sa kanilang maiden season sa PBA. Hindi naging maganda ang performance ni Manny Pacquiao sa scrimmage ng Kia Motors. Nag-struggle ang 35-year-old Pinoy ring idol sa three-point area, gayon din sa free-throw line. Narito ang report ni Ms. Nicole Ramos. Hindi impresibo ang performance ni Manny Pacquiao sa scrimmage ng expansion team ni Kia Motors. Matapos na umiscore ng limang jump shots, nagmintis na ang karamihan sa mga attempts ng Sarangani congressman mula sa three-point area. Katunayan, halos ganito rin ang istorya ng shoot-around sa free-throw line ni Pacquiao. Pero paliwanag ng Pinoy ring icon, wala pa sa laro ang kanyang isipan dahil mas prioridad umano niya ngayon ang pagbuo ng team. Siyempre, pangalawang second day pa lang. So, pag na-condition ito sila, uh, pwede nga lang. Sa ay plano ng mga opisyalit ng Kia Motors na magduo sa opisina ni PBA Commissioner Chito Salud upang humingi ng special concession para direktang ma-acquire nila bilang player si Pacquiao. Para sa PTV Sports, Nicole Ramos, Telebisyon ng Bayan. At unang sakitsit pa lamang po yan ang mga sports update na aming iahatid sa inyo. Siyempre, susunod na inyong favorite text, email, Facebook at Twitter messages sa pagbabalik yan ng PTV Sports. Right. It's about time we get to know more about this unique sport called freestyle basketball. With the elements of rhythm and dance, freestyle basketball is in the style of the Globetrotters with tricks in ball handling and end one street ball moves. Today, Home Court visits the crib of one of the youngest members of a popular Filipino street ball group, Flip Ballers. This young man has been freestyling since he was only 11 years old and was recruited by the Flip Ballers when he was 12. Now he's 20 years old and he's been doing freestyle in events and TV guestings for almost 10 years now. He's also a Dean's Lister at the De La Salle University taking up electronic communication engineering. I've watched this guy and his group Flip Ballers perform and they are fabulous. Even former NBA player Stephon Marbury was impressed. Pinoy Pride, so it's time we visit Marco Domingo aka Chill. Hi Marco! Hi Nicole! Hi guys! I'm Marco Domingo of the Flip Ballers and today I'm gonna show you my home court. Come on in! Come on guys! Welcome everyone! This is it. This is my home and I live here with my family. So here are a few pictures of them. So first, this is my dad and he and as you can see, he's wearing a helmet because one of his hobbies before was to race and this is one of my older brothers and this is my sister when she was still a baby and this is the cute me when I was very <laughs> young and those are more recent pictures of my older brother and this is the eldest one with his family and his sister So here in the living room, uh, what I do most is to watch uh, movies and TV shows, but what I like the most 
is watching NBA, especially now it's the playoffs. Yeah. yeah. So, um, what's your favorite team? Uh, definitely the Miami Heat. The Miami Heat. Oh. So, who do you want to win this season? Miami, of Miami. course. <laughs> yeah. But and they're not. The my the, my favorite player is definitely LeBron James. LeBron James. Yeah, and although he didn't get the MVP award during the season. Um, I know he will be finals MVP when Miami wins. I can see in your living room you have a piano. Yeah. Who in your family plays the piano? Oh, it's <laughs> you. You have another talent here. Um, can we see you play the piano? Yeah, hear sure. you. Hey, thanks. So one of my favorite places in this house is the dining area because I really love to eat oh. and I eat four times an hour. Mm, really <laughs> Just <now>. kidding. <laughs> About four or five times a day. Times. Yeah, and one of the favorite things I love to eat um, are ribs that my parents make. Yeah, spare oh, ribs. Yum. Yeah, with corn. Yeah. Mm, delicious. Mm. What about you? Do you have any specialty? Me, I only know how to make sandwiches. Sandwiches? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So by the way, one of my favorite things to do before was to, to draw. Oh. I always drew when I was younger. And this is actually a tablet. I used it to make digital art in the computer. And if you want, I can show you some of my works before. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah, okay. See the artist in you. <laughs> cool. <laughs> open it for you. Here is my room. It's it's small, but I like it here and. Actually, I practiced my freestyle here. Oh, just yeah. here? Wow. When I was younger, I, I practiced a lot here, yeah. So, Marco, what else do you like to do here in your room? Um, one of the things I love most is music, music. and hip-hop. I'm really, mm. I'm really a big fan of hip-hop. <laughs> yeah, and... It, it also helps me prepare for my routines in freestyle, especially when I don't know what tricks to do. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I listen to the song, First. yeah, and then some of the lyrics them to oh, make yeah. the trick. Like, can I show you? Oh yeah, sure. There's, um, for example, one of my uh, one of the song that I, I one of uh, the song that I used before to make a freestyle video. The lyric said like, I put that thing on the earth and pass it like I'm alley-ooping, something oh, like that. Okay. So I'm a guy who loves shoes and I'll show you some of my pairs. And for my friends, I'm a size 10 so if you want to give me some shoes, <laughs> it's okay. Okay, so I'm a big fan of Nike SBs. So this is one of them. And this is my favorite pair. Yeah, my red shoes, my red Nike SBs. This is my favorite. And the favorite I get. This one. Another favorite. Yeah, I also like this one as well. So Nicole, do you remember this? Oh yeah, I remember that. Uh, this is Kate Nicole gave me when I performed in CSB. Yeah, um, in my school back yeah. then, the Standout Performing Arts Workshop. So he performed there, 
um, showed us how to do street ball. It was really cool. So, so this was our certificate of appreciation yeah, for him. Three years ago already. Wow. wow. You're making me feel old. Oh, <laughs> me too. And we've been friends for so long. Yeah, yeah. wow. Yeah. So Marco, how how did you start doing freestyle? Um, since I was a kid, I've always been a fan of basketball. And when I was very young, my brother told me about the end one street yeah. ballers, and he mentioned ha- uh, he mentioned m- mentioned hot sauce. He was my all-time favorite player, mm-hmm. and he he's really good with in dribbling the ball. So I wanted to be like him. So when I was younger, like 11, uh-huh. um, I, I really didn't have basketball skills. I was young, and then so I thought of uh, I thought of ways that I could make myself better. So my dad, he used to be a tennis player when he oh. was younger. So before we always had tennis balls around the house. So what I did was, when I was young, I grabbed a tennis ball and I started dribbling it around. And I did that for almost a month. And when I when I held a basketball again, it felt really big, as in I can control it easily. So that started it all. So, Marco, do you remember how that felt when you were a little boy? You were only 11 years old and you heard these people cheering for you, you know, screaming out your name and like, you know, they're really impressed about the little boy who did street ball with the flip ballers. How did you feel? Um, that was one of my most favorite experiences ever. Until this day, I can remember everything about it. And one thing I could that I got from it was I, I became more confident with myself that I can uh, surprise other people and more importantly I became happy because I'm doing thing uh, something that I love and I'm excelling in that field so of course it feels good for me So you're now 20 years old, you're graduating soon, (laughs) Uh, do you still see yourself doing freestyle in the future? Uh, Yeah, even if I I start working, I would still play basketball and I would, and freestyling is is one of my passions since I was very young, so I, I couldn't imagine myself not doing that. Even if I'm only by myself, I, I, I don't even have to perform just to freestyle. So, even when I get old, I won't stop freestyling and maybe I would even get better yeah. at that time. Who knows? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Um, so, thank you so much, Marco. I enjoyed talking to you today and thank you for sharing us your home. Thank you. You're welcome, everybody. You're welcome. <laughs> See you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Truly, freestyle basketball is catching on fast in the Philippines, especially with talented Pinoy groups like the Flip Ballers gaining ground on this unique sport. I had a ball having Marco Domingo, aka Chill, on home court. Home court continues to inspire featuring athletes and sports personalities, their dreams, their passions, and their homes. This is Nicole Ramos. See you guys next week. Bye. Frozen. Yeah. Yeah, no? Welcome to PTV Sports. Black and yellow, black and yellow. Do you want me to play? I'm Nicole Ramos. Hello. I'm Danny Springs, Macklemore. Oh. And. And. Ryan Lewis. <laughs> Ryan Lewis. Rapper. You're a rapper. Rapper. Sample. It's your Ryan Gregorio. Sample rapper. Ryan Gregorio. Lucky. Lucky. Okay.
<laughs> Basa na tayo ng mga messages ulit niyo paano niyo kami makakakwentuhan. Okay. Ganito po ang inyong gagawin. Uy, Boss Giselle to siya, ever bilhin na nanonood sa atin. Yeah, thank Boss you for makeup. Giselle makeup. de Guzman din. Ah. No. Baka malamang ha, malapit na kami maging ano ha. 7 to 8. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so for everyone us tonight, you can just follow us at facebook.com slash pd4sports or you can follow us at twitter.com slash pd4sports or you can email us at pdvsports at mail.ptv.ph At para sa mga gusto ng text, simply type in radio space, sr space, name space message and send them to 2311 for Globe and Touch Mobile and 350 for Smart Talk and Text and Sun subscribers. Ang tatawa ko kay Nicole, kamisado-kamisado. Sinitest mo pa eh. Okay. Parang lyrics lang eh. Para mga kanta. Galing na sa puso. Singer. Okay, basa tayo ng mga text messages. Unahin natin ang mga mensahe unin nyo through mm-hmm. SMS. Alright. Dahil kayo ho ang gumasta ng uh, 2 pesos and 50 centavos. Mm-hmm. Simulan natin kay Robert ng Mandaluyong. Alright, sabi niya, comment ko lang kapal mooks na lang Ay, ng magtatabang player sa volleyball. Medyo, ano naman yun? Sawado uh, itsura. Hindi, uh, 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 sa lalaki. Sa lalaki. Hindi, pero kung nakakalaro naman. Uh, kasi hindi mo alam eh. Hindi siya ano kasi, no, nap- eh. nagkaroon ng long inactivity yung mga volleyball players natin. Uh, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, kumbaga yun, dun mo mapapansin talaga. But anyway. Eh, may yung national team? Mm, siguro yung... Meron sa national team na meron ganun eh. Hmm. Diba para deceiving like si... Bachi Belga. Bo Belga. Yes. Si Tignan. Si Big Men. Si Papa Mataba. Si Ryan Buenafe. Buenafe. Oh, si Ryan Buenafe. Yun yung magkapatid na Buenafe. Okay. So, anyway, komento niyo po yan. Aming iginagalang yan. Sineshare lang po namin yung inyong sentimiento. So, sige. Uh, Gali naman kay Boyet Flores. Alright. Good PM mga idol. Tanong ko lang po, may schedule po ba ang PBA sa Cuneta Astrodome? Sa Cuneta? Ah, ngayon Kasi ngayon may sabong sa ano sa Araneta. Araneta oh. So yung ang mangyayari po ngayon diyan, yung uh, uh, ano tawag dito? Yung schedule niyan malamang ma- may mga ilang games June 2 to 8 'yun eh, Brad, yung hmm. sabong. Um may World Slasher Cup. Oh, World Slasher Cup. Okay. So sa Friday ang laro natin Araneta Coliseum, Brad. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then Saturday Smart Araneta Coliseum hmm. pa rin. June 1, Smart Araneta Coliseum. June 2, eto na. Simula na ang sinasabi ko. 2, 3. 2, 3, Mall of Asia. Four. June 4, Field Sports, Brad. Oy, okay. ultra. Oh. Tapos, Yo. June, yun. Ayan, June Cuneta si- Astrodome. Sa Cuneta Astrodome. Tapos, June 7, Cagayan de Oro. Okay, San Miguel, tsaka Bolts. Tapos, Sunday, Binyan, Laguna ulit, ha? Ah, tuloy-tuloy na tayo doon. Tapos, Mar- June 9, Smart Araneta. Oh, June 10, back. Smart Araneta. Mm-hmm. June 11, Ultra ulit, Brad. June 13, Mall of Asia. Tapos, June 14, Binyan. Mm-hmm. Smart Araneta, June 15. Tapos, Smart Araneta, June 16. So, isa lang ho ang game natin sa... Cu- Cuneta. Sa Cuneta. Cuneta Astro. Cuneta. 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 Cuneta Astro. Cuneta. Cuneta. So, yung Cuneta natin is on June 6, Friday. Ang mga games noon ay... Global Port versus Talk and Text. Okay. Tsaka San Mi Coffee Mixers versus Alaska oh, Aces. Okay. So, thank you, you po. Yung sa Cagayan de Oro, sana makapunta tayo. Kaibigan natin yung uh, mayor, mayor dyan, don. si uh, Mayor uh, Oscar Moreno. Moreno. SBP Chairman. Dating congressman yan. Na naging governor. Oo, oh, naging Sabi governor. Sa Tsaka sportsman talaga. Si Randy Abalos. Sabi niya, good PM, guwapong snow. Pakisabi po kay Miss Meg, ang ganda niya. Thanks Baka lumaki po. mo yung ulo lalo, ah. <laughs> Meg, ang ganda mo daw. Sabi ni And Randy Abalos. And always the one, eh. <laughs> okay na sa'yo, Meg. Hindi ka na insulto. Hindi ka na insulto. Ah, sabi, pengin ticket ng Ginebra. <laughs> okay. Then, then, ito pa, di pa tapos. Oh, sige, sige. Randy B. Abalos, good PM, guwapong snow. Ayun, Pakisabi po kay Meg. Miss Meg, ang ganda po niya. Ako po yung isa sa mga pinsan niya na inutusan ni Mike. Okay. Si George Arandia. Sa, 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 from Santa Rosa City, he says, Hi, PTV Sports update sa players ng San Miguel Beer Men na may injury. Makakalaro ba sila sa next game nila sa Sabado versus Talking Text Drop and Texters? PTV Sports number one. Sa, ang alam ko kasi may injury sa kanila, Brad. Si, ano... Si Lasseter. Pero hindi Marshall naman Lasseter. napunitan Marami. lang. Oo. Parang uh, ang tawag doon, yung naalulod. Oo, na, oo. Kaya lang medyo Sugat. nagkasugat. Oo. So, hindi, et, pero maganda yung tanong. Ha. Teka, tanongin natin. Hindi pa nasulat sa Spinion Brad tsaka sa Solar Sports Desk. Ha. Mm. Diba? Tagisa tayo. Oo, sige, tagisa na tayo. <laughs> <laughs> o, sige, sige. O, ito na. Ginadahil ko si Coach B-Boy Rabanes. Sana sumagot. Coach? 
Oh, si Ultimate, uh, si Hulk Hogan, di sumasagot eh. Hulk Hogan. Si Coach Todd Perbs. But Hulk Hogan. Pag nagsalita yan eh. Mm. Ah, oo. Oh. Oh, you, you, you know what that is? <laughs> There, there's something wrong with the beer, man. Ganyan ka naman siya. Ah. Okay. From Jen Dawson. Good for you, mga idol. Ano ang reaction nyo ah. dun sa ginawang pananapak ni Tintis kay Sena? Hindi Thanks and God bless po. Was a uh, siguro yung human nature na na ganun siya. Reflex. Uh, Di, kasi may injury dito yun eh, di ba? Mm-hmm. Si Mark Reeves. Dito, Rives. sa ribs. Eh, naabutan ni oh. Sena. Natamaan! Mm-hmm. Hindi ko rin man lama kung sadya o hindi. Pero, di ba? <laughs> siguro. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Atoy ka lang, ha? Pakisabi kay Dennis, good luck sa Alaska Ace si Hector to, Hector Tabuse. Oh, Ayan, thank ah. you, Hector. Hector, sabi, taga ano? Taga... Bicol? Oo. Oh. Si Coach Hector. Di, si Hector. Yung ano yung kasama lagi ni ano? Ni uh, Agent uh, Ed Ponceja. Hindi ah, lagi may dala ng Mark Baroka. Oh, oh. Tapos mamaya, Ar Ar Garcia naman ang dala niya. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Ito na sandali. Pre, may tatanong na ako sa'yo. Pre. Hindi, live to. Live ako ngayon. Mag-ausap tayo ngayon. No? Oh. Pero pre, tanong ko lang. Yung... May injury ba sa San Miguel? Ilalaro na? Ha? Pre? Hindi pa malabo. Sino sino yung mga may injury? Si Lassiter. Si Hubalde, Lassiter. Eh, si Chris Ross. Bukas malalaman. Ano injury ni Chris Ross? Yun ba yung tinamaan ni Joseph yun? <laughs> yun ba yun? Ah, hindi, hindi. Shin. Shin yun dito. O, oh, sige, sige. Timbre mo ko, ha? No. So, malabo si Lassiter tsaka si Hubalde. Sa bukod doon, wala namang injury. Tsaka si ano lang, Chris Ross. Ah, so, malabong lumaro yung dalawa. Ah. Si ano, malalaman lang sa next game si Chris Ross. Si Sol ba? May injury? Si Sol. Si Sol, may injury? Ah, healthy yan. Okay, okay. O oh, sige, thank you ha. Ah. Boss ha. Ah. Ah, batiin, batiin kita ngayon. Gusto mo ha? Babatiin kita. <laughs> oh, sige, sige. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you boss. Thank you boss. Okay, so may pinap. Si Ubalde, alam ko ano. Shoulder. Nung Shoulder. away nun, oh. nadali siya nun. Eh. Tama, tama. tama. Tsaka liit nun eh. Lalaki yung nagmuguha na. Oh. <laughs> Kumarang eh. Kala yata kaya nung balabas niya eh. <laughs> De, biro lang ha. Barkad- barkada natin yan. Si ano, Isas- Paolo Valde, Brad. Bar- oh, ganda. bait na player. Oh, barkada rin yung vice ganda yan. Ah, yan oh, okay, basta tayo. Barkada na kayo. Uh, Common friend eh. Uh, hindi. Uh, friend in law. Friend-in-law. Um, Masahin natin ito from Ariel. Sabi niya, good PM po. May chance sa po bang manalo si Dunaya oh, sa laban niya? Ano oh, man? Lahat naman. Kahit si Betieka, may pag-asa manalo. Pero nakakay Dunaya yan, Brad. Kasi alam mo, si Betieka, mautak. May uh, boring. Sa so, may distansya yan, Brad. Distansya. Hindi uh, yung patulog katulad ni... Eh, napakita ni Darcinia nung huling laban. Na pag hmm. binoxing mo si Dunaya rin, nahihirapan. Hmm. So, kung okay, bobox yun, eh, ganun ang style ni ano. Ni Bejeka. Bejeka. Oh. So, ito naman yung chance. Tsaka may hard right yung Bejeka. Oo. Oh, correct. Oh. Tsaka mukhang mas mahaba ata ang reach nito eh. Para mas matangkad to eh. Oo, oh, mas matangkad. Ngayon, ito naman yung chance niya oh. na isang may sinasabing boring fight at paano niya gawin exciting Mm-mm. at maging spectacular yung kanyang panalo. Oh, tsaka ano eh, pero ang sabi nga dito ni Mr. Lirio, nakausap to, Brad, mm-hmm. yung sa sports radio, oh. sport lang, oh. anchor. Oh. Oh. Siya rin yata may ari na relators eh. Ah, oh. Sabi Siya niya, nga. sabi niya, eh, At, malamang to pasukin ng pasukin ni Dunayar ito. Kasi pag distance yung ibinigay mo kay Betyeka, pwede ka niyang diktahan. Oh, diba? Oh, oh. Kaya lang, sabi niya, ingat ka sa kanan ito. Talagang may bomba yung kanan yung kanan. Right. Ito yung nangyari kay Christian eh. Diba? Mm, mm. Na, kahit si ano, kahit si paring... Six rounds. Kahit si paring Dong, yung tatay nino nito. Oh, Dodo. Sinasabi niya Dodo. na, ano eh, na... Na yung wag lang tamaan, yun ang panalangin niya. Kasi, hindi natin alam kung ano mangyayari mm. kung tatamaan si Junjun. Mm. Pero definitely sila raw magdidikta. Okay. Basta tayo, si Diwata. Ang sabi ni Diwata? Sabi ni Diwata, Hi, PTV Sports. Available na po ba yung tickets para bukas sa finals ng PBA D-League? Uy! Maganda yung laban bukas. Hindi ko lang. Anong oras yun? Oo. 1.30 p.m. 1.30 sa Arneta Coliseum. Sa Smart Arneta Coliseum. So, Blackwater Sports po yan. Tsaka Enlex Road Warriors rematch yan. Dalawang PBA. Oo, for the finals again. Bagong PBA, ano? Teams. Oh, pareho, mm. pareho magpapasigat yan. No? And finish yung kanilang campaign in the amateurs on a winning note. Yan oh. yes. ang And both really want to win. Oh, ito, tinatawagan ko na si Mr. Eric Castro. Mm-hmm. 
Siya po ang tournament supervisor ng PBA D-League pero hindi po siya nasagot. Try natin yung ano, mas mataas ng kon ng mas mataas. <laughs> si Mr. Willie Marshall. Okay? Pero gusto niyo basa pa ma Tama, tayo? tama. Tanong na rin natin kay King Pingris, di ba? O sige, basa na lang ngayon, di ba? Board Ito, board sabi. meeting na ba? Hindi, bukas. Ay, oh, board meeting ngayon. Ayun. Hmm. Pero meeting ni Pingris, 3 o'clock eh. 3 o'clock. Baka before yung board. Ay, Boss Will! Boss Will! Boss, nasa TV kami ni Dennis tsaka ni Nicole. Pwede ba kita i-air? Okay, ayan. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. Pai talaga ng Boss Willie ko, kaya the amiable eh. Pag sinusulat ko to, lagi hindi ko kinakalimutan yung amiable. Uh, okay, Boss Will! Kaya natin ibebenta yung ticket ng D-League, bukas daw. May mga fans po kasi nagtatanong. Hmm, uh, yung D-League, uh, uh, pareho ka na rin yung tickets ng BB sa Friday, 1.30 sila. Bukas yan. So, makaka makakapanood na sila ng 3 games. Ah, oh, 3 games. Ah, 3 games. So, kung bibili ng manonood ng Dili, kasama na sa PBA yun. Kasama ng oh, galawang laro. Triple wow. header. So, triple header yan, boss. Oo. Oh, oh. oh, okay. okay. So, out na po ba yung ticket, boss? O baka ubos na? May mabibili pa po ba yung mga kababayan natin? Alam ko yung Friday, Monday, meron pa eh. Ah, oh, okay. 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 So, anyway, boss, isa pang tanong. May board meeting kanina, boss, ha? Kumusta dyan? Ah, ah. Ano po nangyari sa board meeting kanina, boss? Ah, Ah, uh, tapos si Nita lang din namin nang yung June 7 yung yung sagot ng Elsa. Ah. Uh, si hindi kumulumpong do sa gilid dun sa sa may pantry. Wala si boss dito si Vice Chairman Pato Gregorio dito. Ah, sa inner 21 sino nagrepresent kanina, boss? Wala, wala. Uh, kasi may meeting din dito si Boss Lito. Ah, okay, okay. Anyway, Boss, ano, Boss Willie, may tanong sa'yo si Dennis. Katama ko ngayon. Ay, buti naman. Naalala ko ni Mr. Dennis. <laughs> Oo naman, syempre. Pare, kumusta na? <laughs> Oo, oh, mabuti. Mabuhay kayo. Oo. So, ay, natanong mo na ba yung Pingris? Hindi pa. Oo, oh, kay Pingris, Boss. Eh, maraming nakikibalita. At uh, ano bang, may, may resulta na ba kung sakali? Oo. Hmm. Si... No suspension. So forty thousand fine. No suspension. Ah, okay. Uh-huh. Yung 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 ba sa mga suntok ka uh, boss? Ano ba yung nagme-merit na ano? Yung para masuspend ng isang player, usually ano bang klaseng suntok talaga? Yung, yung malap- malapit ba sa ginawa ni Pingri? So, paano ba? Ay, yung katulad ng away nila. Natagdami yung away nila ng Zubal. Yun ang mga first suspension. Ah. Ah, oo. Ano pinag-iba ng boss? Yung talaga may tumama, ganun? Depende din kay Commissioner yun. Depende naman din yung merit. Depende naman din yung pangyayari. Depende naman yung situation ng play. Hmm. Uh, tsaka, 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 okay. So, yung 40,000, ano yun? Hindi naman mapupunta kay Sena. Hindi. Hindi mapupunta sa trust fund. Ah, sa boxing yung ganun eh. Hindi, <laughs> sa trust fund kasi boss, di ba? Yung mga ano, yung mga may mga pinag-aaral tayo mga anak ng mga dating player, mga referee, di ba? Oo, oh, tama, ah. tama. Pero boss, ano ba to? Ito bang naging desisyon natin na walang suspension eh hindi ito nangangahulugan na may favoritism tayo tinitingnan o kasi tulad niyan eh high profile player yan si Katyan di ba boss? Ay mushi na. Hindi pa natin si respect din natin siya. Oo. Hindi talaga. Para para din si Pinkin natin. Para lang sa sa global. Si respect din natin. Oo. Tong ay para sa special sa depende sa sa. Oo, ipinadon. Kung 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 paano yung ano. Oo. Pero yung suntok niya na yun, kung, kung oh, above the shoulder yun, may, pag, may paglalagyan, ano, boss? Ah, uh, siguro. Kaya hindi ka nang sasagot dyan. Hindi ka nang sasagot dyan. Galing talaga. Ano, uh, Gal- yan, eh. Galing talaga uh, ng boss mo yun ito. Galing. Okay. Mala na lang ako. Mala na ako siya slow at tennis. <laughs> boss, <laughs> boss! Boss, nga pala, oh. birthday namin ni Dennis next week, ha? Ay, oo, dapat hindi ko na siya yung nagkasin niyo, ha? Sana makarating naman sa mga misis niyo. Tulis-tulis. Ah, 
yung mga part na nag-uusap-usap pa kami eh. Ah, Kaya na kayo ha? Eh, Boss Will! Ito isa pa pala, may tanong. May tanong sa'yo si Nicole. Kasama ko si Nicole. Oh. Hello, okay. Boss Will. Uh, ko po sa inyo, kailan po i-release yung draft for the next... In dispersal. Oh. Kailan daw yung dispersal draft, Boss? Hmm. Uh, siguro pa, after ng final, siguro mga... Hindi ba yung Hindi ba tuloy yung July 21? Yung July 21 ang una na i-announce? Hindi tuloy yun? Pwede, mga ganun. Mga ganun yung ano. Yung ganun daw. Yung mga ganun araw. Basta pagkatapos yung final, ang huli na last day naman natin, kung sagan, July 9. So, bibigyan na namin yung mga listahan sa teams na pumasok. Kung tatlo sila o dalawa, pag-aaral nila yung Um, Sir Will Sir, last question ni Nicole um, Ano po yung masasabi niyo about Manny Pacquiao in the Kia Motors? Tapos pupunta siya raw dyan? Oo, oh, pupunta siya dyan Sa lunes? Mm-mm. Ay, kahit hindi siya pumunta dito o pumunta siya dito Welcome to welcome namin si Manny Pacquiao Talagang honor sa atin niya na makasama namin sa baby Ikaw nga, mayroon ka pang bubblehead ni Manny dyan sa table mo, no? Papipirmahan wow. mo na yan, boss? Pagdating niya dyan? Mahilig ka rin pala sa boxing, Boss Willie, ha? Para kasi pidol, ha? Hindi, parang... Hindi ako masasalita. Okay. Thank you so much, Boss Will. Salamat sa oras sa binigay mo. Napaka-approachable mo talaga, Boss. Mas ka marami salamat sa inyo. Sana makarating sa mga misis nyo. Sa mga binigay ko sa Okay. Salamat, Boss Willie. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sir Willie. Marit siya, dito pa naman yung Miss Dennis. Boss, tawag ulit ako sa inyo off the air, ha? Patapos na kami, wrap up lang kami. Okay. So, mukhang tapos na tayo. Nakikita ko na si Miss Cathy at saka si Attorney Mark at saka si Rolak Obina. Pag na... Ha? 3 minutes pa. 3 minutes pa. Pag tinitignan natin, Brad, si Cathy, si Attorney Mark, saka si Ralph, Brad, parang tayong tatlo, eh. Nakikita ko yung itsura natin, eh. Nakaka-formal. Si Nicole yung Cathy. Ikaw yung Attorney Mark. Dahil matalino ka din, di ba? Gwapo ka din. Ako na may Ralph Ovina. Di ba na, Brad? Oba! Okay, so wrap up na tayo. Meg! So, ito naman ang aming Bet Kachin. O, ayan. Okay, so mga sponsors yung mag-take ito na kayo. Pero tinan mo, tinan mo, ikaw na yung naiba. Dino mo lahat kami. Si Bet Kachin yung ano natin, yung ano natin, yung Brad, yung ano natin, coordinate. Baka tinatanong nila. Okay, mag-take ito na tayo sa mga sponsors natin, Meg. Add man out. Sige, go na. Thank you to Live Love Pray Fitness. We have Pinch Penny Fashion Wear, Chief Couture, Mr. J. Lacerna Hook Up Watches, Mr. Amos sa mga amazing playgrounds, Sir Dosel Dosina Everblena, St. Luke's Medical Center, Dean Grace Pharmacy, Dr. MJ Torres ng Zen Institute, Frank and Marcel Graphics, and of course, my Jerony Pop. Okay, and? All right, we want to thank Mr. Dosel Dosi again for our makeup for Everblena. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sir J. Lacerna for our Hook Up Watches. We love them. And thank you, Sir Amos Tumang for amazing playground jackets and shirts. Thank you, Sir Mike, for our street couture shirt. Thank you, Mom, Dad, Lola, my sister. I love you all so much. Dennis? Jocelyn de Guzman ng Globe. Maraming salamat. Mr. Ronald Dulatre ng NLEX Rene Pardo ng San Mig at saka kay Mr. Robert No ng San Miguel. And my wife, Winnie, love you. Nandito. Prinzi and Prinzi. Habol ko lang update tayong bill po ni Blatch para maging naturalized Filipino na ipadala na po ni Senator Alan Tutagig for signature na after to be forwarded to Senate President Drillon for signature and then to President Pinoy malamang bukas. Yan na. Historic. Okay. O, tsaka kay Mami Bae. Ako na po. Ang boy natin. Mami G, Daddy Dan. Salamat siya. Ang boy natin. Mukha ka lang mabango ha. Salamat po sa Barack Obama, Angie Gola, Mr. George Chua, Michael Johnson Chua, Paul Chua, Mr. J. Lianes D. Ma'am Chene, tsaka kay Boss Traffic Kasiyaw. Salamat po sa Barack Obama, Angie. Kay Giuseppe Guzman ng Globe Telecom, sa Ever Bilena, Mr. Giuseppe Dussi, Ma'am Kitesi, Boss Si Limansi, kay Mike Lim, kay Johnson Martinez, at thank you rin kay Pat Aquino at Boss Rudiu ng Macbeth, at tsaka ng Hook Up Watches, Mr. J. Lucero. Salamat po sa inyo. Sa Axel 360, Mr. Willer Ortiz, Philip Golo, Willer Rosa, Jacob Malapas, at Arvin Roa, Ninong Renato Lira ng Relay Tours and Travel, at sa Smart Communications, Mr. Pato Gregorio at Epo Kimpo. Ako po ang inyong coach, Snow Badwa. Next, Yozon. Nicole Ramos. Dennis Principe. Ang tabayanan po ang News at 6, live po yan sa Radyo ng Bayan 738, kasama si Miss Cathy San Gabriel, Atty. Marcus Trodes, at Ralph Obina. Samantala, Sports Radio. Kalas na tayo. Narito po ang mga tampok na balita sa News at 6.